Yo, what's going on guys? Um, for this video or video series, I'm not sure yet, um, we'll be creating a resume clone in React and um, probably Firebase to deploy the application and put it up live, right? Um, the reason I choose to do, th do this is because I haven't seen any like decent resume or like portfolio website online with React. And um, when I was watching like recent videos, um, like live videos and React tutorials and stuff like that, many people actually comment and ask for um, a, a React um, portfolio. So I thought it would be a good idea to go ahead and create one. Um, the kind of resume I'll be creating is um, this one here. It's by um, Matt. Um, you can check this link out. Credits to him for um, the idea. But we won't be using any of the code, right? We'll actually be coding everything from scratch. Um, again, with React and Material UI. So this is what the resume will look like. I looked for a couple different ones and I found this to be the cleanest and the one I like the most. So we'll have like a a home page or a resume page um, that will show a resume um, about us and um, probably some of this stuff and the future as well. And um, we won't have the blog or contact. We'll probably integrate the contact into the resume, but we'll have a resume and a portfolio section. So the portfolio section will be um, some kind of like image gallery where if you click on it, um, we'll, it will open up the image. We'll build one of ourselves, right? And um, we'll be able to um, sort them um, by um, name as well, right? So by category. So without much deal, okay, here's one more thing, right? I won't be posting the code, like my GitHub link, so do not ask for it. If you're really in interested in this, code it yourself. Um, to be honest, if you cannot code a, re a resume by yourself, um, I don't think React's a place for you. So do not ask for the code in the comments or like do don't post the link to the code if you've coded it as well, yeah. But yeah, so without further ado, let's, um, I'm gonna create a new, um, actually let's do it with Visual Studio. Um, let's do, um, okay, so I'm gonna do it in desktop for now. Um, let's create a new folder, I'm gonna call mine resume. Open it. Um, let's open this with, um, okay, let me just open it with um, dot .code, so it's gonna open with, wait, code, is it like that? Yep. So it's going to open that folder in um, Visual Studio, right? So nothing special there, but inside Visual Studio, what we want to do is we want to run our basic Create React app. Um, to do that, we're going to open the terminal in here. And um, so create, just put in this command, create um, React um, app, and then either a folder name or if you're already in this directory, just do that, a dot and a forward slash to say you're in that directory. So that's gonna take a while. But while that's happening, I'm actually gonna open Paint. Um, and let's put that resume back up again. Um, where is it? Control Shift T. All right, there we go. Let me get rid of that one. Okay, so let's let's actually write down or like um, design what our components will look right, right? So. One thing that, that I can say is we have our main um, background, right? And everything will be on that background, right? So we'll have um, different pages on the background. So we'll have a resume page, which will be this thing here. And then we'll have a portfolio page. But do you see something on the left side, which is the about me section? Okay, um, it's always there no matter what the page is, right? So we're gonna have a component that's just gonna be that, right? A whole page that's gonna be everything and then we're gonna have two separate pages so one page will be a resume page right and one's gonna be a portfolio page inside the portfolio page we're gonna have a text um, we're probably gonna build a component for this text I'm not sure but we're gonna have that and then um, do you see a timeline so material UI um, material material UI timeline Um, so material UI, uh, UI have something like that, and then we're gonna try and code it and um, alter this to make it look a lot like that, as as close as we can, right? So we're gonna have a timeline component because we actually use the timeline more than once. So we have it here, here, and here. So we're gonna create a timeline component. Um, we're gonna have a header component, right? And then we're gonna have a footer component because the footer supposed to header and footer should be visible on all pages as well right so footer here um, a header there and then yeah so if i were to 
put that up in paint i think i'll create a video series instead of one video but yeah so if i were to do that so we have our main oops our main page ignore my drawings so that's probably going to be app.js right we're just going to have the main page in app.js um okay we're going to have a component for the sidebar right so that's going to be a component we're going to have a component for the header right so that header right there and then we're going to have a component for our footer which, which is going to be um under whatever this component will be so this thing here so this thing here is going to be two separate pages right we're going to have so i'm talking about this white thing here where the main contents will be there's going to be um a resume page we're, we're not going to do the blog i don't think we need it like really and the contact we're going to have a contact form inside the resume so right at the bottom maybe but yeah so in there we're going to have two pages right so we're going to have a resume page a resume page and then um, a portfolio page right as for the components again so this is going to be one component this is going to be the second component this is going to be the third component and then um we're going to have the timeline component so i'm going to put time for timeline which is going to be the fourth component and um let's see what else is repetitive in here um the header maybe i guess the header maybe and then the color scheme we're going to use a css um variable for the color scheme um okay um this thing is um repetitive so if you see this button um this button right here we have it once here we have it another time there seconds and there and um do we have it again anywhere else probably there we'll see um and there okay so we can we can create one component which will be that button and then probably pass in a prop if you want an, an icon and um if the prop is visible we're gonna have that icon if not it's gonna be a, a button like that right so and then the button is gonna be five okay so i'm gonna put this on my other screen ignore this this is the demo that i created for myself but let's actually go there okay we have the app ready um we have all of that ready um what i want us to do is um go into material ui's website into getting started um and let's install material ui as well installation so let's install material ui i'm gonna copy that right and um, we might also need material UI icons. So I'm not sure what the API is, but if I search for icons, um, API, okay, it's material UI. It's supposed to be slash icons, I think. Where do I find it? Oh, it's right at the top. My bad. Okay, so material UI slash icon. So let's copy that and paste it there as well. So it's gonna install material UI core and um, we don't need the NPM install again. And then what else do we need? So we might need, um, so what else do we need? Okay, so we're gonna navigate through pages, right? So we're gonna have the resume page and the portfolio page. So we're gonna have to like route to it. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to create a router. So I'm gonna install React Router DOM. I'm going to search that up, React um, Router DOM. Let's search its API. I think that is the API. Oh, yeah, it is. So, um, and React um, Router DOM. Um, if we need anything else, we're going to install it later. But go ahead, press Enter and install it. And um, so after that's done, we're going to set up our project structure. So we can, we can actually do that now. So we have a source file um first thing we want to do is let's get rid of the test and um we don't need the logo as well what's that so i'm gonna get rid of the logo delete that get rid of the test delete that we don't need the test again i don't think we're going to be testing in this series but so we have the app to js so i'm gonna what, what else do we need we don't so Basically, the basic React app is going to pop up. Like, once you run it, it's going to show the big React logo right in the middle, right? So we don't need anything in there as well. I'm going to get rid of everything. And um, under app.js, I don't think we need any of that as well. Let's get rid of it. Save it. Let's save that. Um, I guess that's it. So let's wait for this to install. And um, we're going to go ahead from there.
So what we can do for now actually is um, let's create a couple projects, right? So let's structure our project like in a really good way. So I'm gonna create a new folder. Um, we're gonna have components, components. We're gonna have pages, um, new folder. We're gonna have pages. What else are we gonna have? Um, component pages, we, do we have any images on here? Yeah, we have a background image, which I actually have on my local computer, so I forgot about that. We have a background image. So we're gonna need the image. Um, so yeah, let's create an assets folder where we're gonna store all, all of our images. So new folder, assets. Um, inside the assets, let's have images. New folder, images. So inside the components, let's put out this image again. So I'm gonna put it side by side. And damn, my laptop's kinda, laptop's kinda slow. But okay, so pages, we're gonna have two pages, right? We're gonna have the resume page um resume and then we're gonna have the portfolio page so new folder in here portfolio right so resume and portfolio inside the components we're gonna have a button we're gonna have um let's start with one right so new folder we're gonna have to i'm gonna call this profile profile so it's always good to have your um pages and um components capitalized so my bad here um Let's rename that as well. It's just a good um, programming habit. Oh wait, what happened? Capitalize that. Um, inside component, what else are we gonna have? So we're gonna have the header and the footer. So let's create a header and a footer as well. So a new folder, header. Um, wait, where do you go? Where do you go? Wait, what? Okay, let's do it again. So new folder, um, header. Wait, what? Oh wait, I'm just gonna reveal this in File Explorer. Um, components, so profile, get rid of that, I don't need that. So inside the profile, I'm not sure what that was about, but let's create a new folder. Um, so we're gonna have the header, right? Um, I need to go inside. We're gonna have the footer. Um, footer. What else are we gonna have? Um, we're gonna have a button. Remember. So we're gonna have a button. And um, what else? Let me go back to the image. And the timeline. Okay. So let's have a timeline there as well. I guess five components will be yeah. And the timeline. So for the timeline, we're gonna import um, most of it from Material UI, but we're gonna style it in a way to um, make it look like that, All right? Um, so we're gonna have assets. Um, so assets, components, pages. Um, let's actually create a utils as well. And um, the reason behind that is, I'm gonna tell you why. So it's good to not hard code everything inside um, our resume, just in case you wanna change it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a JSON file, which is just um, an object. And um, all the data inside the JSON file will come, like all the data inside um, the website that you see, for example, all of this, all of that. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> it's gonna come from a JSON file, right? So inside the utils, um, I'm gonna create um, a file called, um, just a resume, resume data, I guess. So let's go to a new file. How do I do that? Bruh. I'm just going inside the utils and create a new file. So I'm going to call this resume data, right? Um, let's have a camel case. And um, the reason this is not capitalized is because it's a good React practice to have on um, the pages or components as capitalized. But everything else should follow the um, programming practice of um, having it as camel case. But this is installed, um, let's npm i and make sure it's running. Once it is, um, wait, no, npm start, sorry, my bad. Once it is, um, I'm gonna probably stop this video and go to the next part. Let's look if we need, um, what do we need for the timeline? Um, where's the API section? Timeline. Oh, we're gonna need material UI lab. So let's install that. Right, um, I guess that should be it though. Something's running on board 
3000, right, cancel that. Um, that's npm i mutual UI lab and install that. Just to basic, um, while it's installing, um, the way we're gonna structure our project is, um, so the main outro layer, um, it's gonna be a container, right? So we have a container component and basically what that does is um, it's gonna add spacing to the left and right, right? And um, the more, I think they probably have the same as well, but the more you zoom out, the more the spacing is gonna decrease, but the main elements, or <coughs> sorry, the main elements are gonna still be the same size, right? And then once that's zoomed out enough, um, the main um, elements are gonna become smaller and smaller and smaller. So if you look at that, so that's gonna be um, smaller on its own, and then we're gonna have it that way. So just, just thinking out loud, um, we're gonna have a container outside the container component that's gonna have spacing on the left and right. And then we're gonna divide everything into a grid. Right, so if you guys don't know what a grid is, um, we're gonna do that in the next lesson. But let's close that. Just don't wanna make a video too long, it's probably already at 16, 17 minutes. So let's go back there and um, npm start. Um, something's running, let's press Y. So run on a different port. Okay. So if this works fine, um, we've done quite a bit. Meepa, zoom, zoom, zoom. <laughs> Yo, that, that's the funniest um, sound on TikTok. Wait, something's missing. Um, Logo.svg is missing. So we're calling Logo.svg somewhere. Is that inside the app? Oh yeah. So we're calling Logo.svg. We don't need that. Let's save it. Let's run it again. So we're gonna have a blank app. Um, I'm just gonna do um, our resume clone just to see if we see the stuff. You don't need to do this. And there we go. So we have an application that um, has all of that, right? Um, do we need anything else for the set uh, setup? Um, I don't think so. Index. Of... Okay. Um. So here's the thing, right? So with my other applications, sometimes there's so, do you see like by default, you have a margin zero. Sometimes by default, you still see a tiny margin on the top on the left of it. And that's because it doesn't only come from the HTML, sorry, from the body, it comes from the HTML as well. So if you know basic HTML, there's an HTML, uh, HTML tag and then there's a body inside, right? So just in case, if you guys run into this, um, I'm gonna get rid of that. And then I'm gonna do this, right? So for all elements, for all el elements initially, um, let's just remove all the margins. So we want, we're gonna style everything from scratch, right? So gonna remove all the margin. You might not see anything because I didn't run into that problem, but you might. So anyway, save that and um, end them, end them. I think that's it, right? So let's end the video here and continue in the next section. Um, how do I stop this? Okay.